so once we write the code for editing the data so we will be writing the code for deleting the data using the user id so for that let me just go to the user controller again and we will be using the at the rate delete mapping annotation here and let me just give the same path as user and we will be passing the id to delete and now let me just type something like a string so we will be returning some string and just type delete user and inside here so i will be passing the path variable and just type long id and if the user is not exist in this id so if there is no user with that particular id so we should display some exception so for that user repository and just type exist by id and if that user is not existed so we just need to throw the exception so just type throw new exception so which is user not found exception and just pass the id and if there is user with that specific id so we just need to delete that user so just type user repository dot delete by id and just pass the id and return some message something like user so just type user with id and just type the id and just type has been deleted success and if i just give the semicolon and save the application and let me just rerun the application so the application has been started successfully so if i just go to the postman here and let me just right click and add request and let me just make it get into delete and let me just save this one and just type http and if i just want to delete the user by tubel so let me just click on send so you can see the user with id tubel has been deleted successfully so now again if i just send the same request so this should show could not found the user with id tubel since we have just deleted the user information so again if i just go into the database on mysql workbench and select star from user so you can see there is no data with tubel so similarly i just want to data delete the data with the id 11 as well so for that let me just type 11 and just click send so you can see the user with id 11 has been deleted success and if i just execute this command again so you can see on the database so there is no data with the id 11 so this is how you write the code for deleting the data from the database